Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Part 51 here on SoloLearn.com. Everyone can code. So we're on Destructors. Uh, so remember Constructors, they are special member functions that are automatically called when an object is created. And Destructors are special functions as well. They're called when an object is destroyed or deleted. Objects are destroyed when they go out of scope or whenever the delete expression is applied to a pointer directed at an object of a class. Okay, cool. So which statement about C++ Constructors and Deconstructors is the correct one? Uh, destructors run when you create an object. No, constructors run. Constructors run when an object is created, and destructors when it's deleted. Awesome. Uh, the name of a destructor will be exactly the same as the class, only prefixed with a tilde. So this is a tilde. If you're not sure, a destructor can't return a value or take any parameters. So this is basically what's going to run when the class is destroyed. Uh, so let's type in this sign. See if I can get it here. There we go. Uh, for example, let's declare a destructor for our my class class in its header file. So here it is, and then we actually have to apply some implementation there. Fill in the blank to declare a destructor for my class class. So here it is, my class. Awesome. Um, after declaring the destructor in the header file, we can write the implementation in the source file. Okay. Um, so here we go, we're writing this implementation. Let's go ahead and see. Fill in the blanks to define a destructor for class my class which prints some text so my class and uh, we're gonna put my class my class and then we're gonna do console output and we want to output it all right let me sort of figure out my class my class console output and I think it's that one all right cool uh, and since destructors can't take parameters they can they can't also they also can't be overloaded. Each class will have just one destructor. And defining a destructor is not mandatory if you don't need one. It's just a lifecycle hook in the software development process, but you don't have to define one. Uh, so which of the following statements are true about destructors? Um, destructor cannot have any parameters. We cannot overload a destructor. So I think it's those two. All right, cool guys. Uh, so last one, let's return to our main. And when the program runs, it first creates the object and calls the constructor. The object is deleted and the, destruct and the destructor is called when the program's execution is completed. Remember that we printed constructor from the constructor and destructor from the destructor. Cool. So destructors are called when an object is deleted. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, quick tutorial, part 51 done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.